I'm not going to sit here and watch the classical evolution or de-evolution into oppression without a fight. And anytime I see people strutting around acting powerful, I'm going to confront them. That includes groups of police. I'm in other cities, other places. I see cops arrogantly standing around or acting weird to people or, you know, uh, not getting out of the way for citizens when they're walking down the street or acting like thugs. I go over and talk to them and go, why are you acting so thuggish? And if they want to go, give me your license and stuff, that's fine. They're going to get an earful from me. And again, I obsess on the police because you're where the rubber meets the road. And if things get worse and worse, it may come down to the police and military because people need leadership to take this country back if the globalists start offensive purges against us, just like what's happening in Egypt. Let me tell you something, folks. 14 million people hit the streets. It's over. The government's coming down. I don't want that because it's so destabilizing and destroys the infrastructure. I want to have a revolution of the mind. I want those police and feds on power trips to not drink sodium fluoride on record that's killing them. I want them to know how deadly vaccines are on record and not just make jokes about it. I was talking to somebody that works in the city yesterday and they were telling me how the city is just saying, oh, there's nothing wrong with smart meters and they don't watch what you do and they're not going to control you and RF's not bad for you when all the studies show the opposite and they're in the news in Europe and the U.S. saying the smart meters will turn off your power during peak consumption or monitor what you're doing. They always said that. This is bad where we're going. And I know that I've been ranting on the subject, and I said I'd get to media disinformation. I'll have to cover this brief, uh, briefly later in the next hour. More and more I see these articles where they will, again, come and, and twist what I've said to try to say I'm a liar. And the system's doing this because they're scared and they want to discredit us. It's not going to work. Now, Paul Watson's going to be with us for the rest of the next hour. Then we'll have open phones for part of the third hour. And then uh, Max Kaiser is going to join us on huge news dealing with the bond market imploding or beginning to implode, as he predicted. Have central bankers lost control? Could the bond bubble implode even if there is no wiretapping? But I just want to say this to everybody very clearly here. I need your support. I'm 110% into this fight. And I need you to spread the word about the broadcast, and I need you just to pray for us, and I need you to financially support us. We have the best products from water filters to non-GMO, heirloom seeds to books, videos, magazines, everything in the InfoWar at InfoWarStore.com. The new film is going to premiere the 17th on the nightly news. State of mind, getting into how they manipulate us. It's all available, InfoWarsStore.com. You can get 10% off with promo code WATER and all the ProPure. Your purchases make this possible. Paul Watson, tell us what's coming up uh, in the next hour that you're going to be breaking down. You've got a big raft of important news. Hi, Alex. Good to be back. Yeah, we're going to talk about the Homeland Security drill across America yesterday where Americans celebrated their independence by submitting to random bag searches by pot-bellied TSA agents. And the local news channel in L.A. said that people need to thank those TSA agents for their work in safeguarding America. No, no, uh, they actually also... give them medals, combat medals. Well, exactly. You have to you have to thank the overlords for imposing their tyranny upon you. It's not it's not enough just to obey anymore. You've got to thank them for it. In fact, it's not enough to lick the boots now. They're saying you're going to have to start kissing the rumpus. Maybe that should be the new salute. See a bureaucrat, they hang their behind out, and, you know, you, uh, we, citizens could be bidets. We'd have to volunteer, uh, compulsory volunteerism, one day a week to be at a government toilet area to act as a bidet. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got a ton of news in the next two hours and a short time to get there. 
Homeland Security conducts top secret July 4th drill nationwide, really about federalizing police. And the videos are pouring in of police, military with police, TSA commanding them, highways, transportation hubs, just searching everyone. It's like flashbacks when I've been in Mexico at checkpoints. We are certainly becoming land of the cowards, home of the fluoride head slaves, unfortunately. So we're going to be breaking all that down. You know, should we celebrate the 4th of July in, in the aftermath of it as a memorial service? That's how I felt uh, yesterday. Also, uh, documents expose predator drones spying extensively in the U.S. against U.S. citizens, not just on the border. Well, of course, we told you that, so the media said that we were liars the last two years, that there were no drones, no FBI drones, no Homeland Security drones. Then it turns out they play games and go, well, it was Air Force drones or Army drones assigned, and so that's why we didn't have any missions. They had hundreds of missions per airport. See how they play these lawyer games with people? Alex Jones says two billion bullets. It's only 244,000. One line item. Everybody goes, man, that guy's a liar. Yeah, yeah, he's a big liar. Let me hit this now, and then I'm going to go to Watson. Uh, this is a very important uh, little story here. Alex Jones boasts his ratings destroy Rush Limbaugh. People like this show more than his. And this is out of media uh, it. And again, this isn't a very important story in and of itself. I see these type of things daily, and I'm not even looking for them. So I'm sure there's a lot of it I don't see. Last week, and you can go, you heard the show, or you can go pull it up. They use a small clip. I said that I have bought advertising on Rush Limbaugh not once, but twice. Every time there's campaigns to kick him off the air. And that I'm not in competition with Rush Limbaugh. And that if they can take him off the air, they can take all talk radio off the air. And I said that we either hang together for the First Amendment, even if we don't totally agree with somebody, or we hang separate. And everyone knows that I've had Michael Savage on, and I promote a lot of the things that he does that I think are good. And everybody knows I'm trying to not fight with people. Now, when Newsbusters got a hold of this, and really shame on them, because I, I link to some of their better stuff. And, and I just, I just want to get my country back, okay? I'm really trying to be just a good person here. Okay, and I'm tired of the, of the fake right wing and the fake libertarian people constantly attacking us, okay? And they show Talkers Magazine and, and what Talkers says is the top 10 talk show host. And then they show that I, I'm not in that, even though I've been on the cover of Talkers. And they say I'm the biggest show that is not in the mainline conglomerate. I've been on the cover back when they were still a paper publication. We can show that in a moment. And they say out of that, I'm a liar. When I was saying in places like Rochester or places like uh, Abilene or places like Orlando, on smaller stations that have literally no ratings... I will beat Limbaugh within a year. And I gave examples. And then I said, but it didn't matter. Then the station still changed formats. Being number one isn't enough. So I said, thank God we're on the internet and dominating there. That turns into, I want to bring Rush Limbaugh down. And I'm a liar saying I have a bigger total audience than him. Let me give you the numbers. Rush Limbaugh probably has five times the terrestrial radio audience I do. Probably more. Because he not only has five times the stations, most of them are the much bigger ones, the marquee stations. I, I never, tr I'm not about this. It is so frustrating to see all this going on. All right, we're going to come back and go to Paul Joseph Watson. It, 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 it's just incredible how they spent all this stuff. But on the internet, if you go to the Alexa numbers, we're thousands of percentage points above Limbaugh. And that's just one of our sites. We have dozens, okay? But I'm not in competition with Rush Limbaugh. And this is a distortion. You're lying to your readers. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. 
Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. drive up to a warrantless checkpoint, a random checkpoint, you're pulling up to a group of highwaymen, no different than stagecoach robbers. They have just been brainwashed and conditioned, it's okay, but the Supreme Court, other courts have ruled it is the mark of Nazi Germany. It is the mark of Mexico. And the videos are pouring in, we have articles up on Infowars.com that are just incredible where the police are setting up these warrantless checkpoints and then they want to search people's cars and if you say no, they begin yelling and screaming at you. I guess kind of like a bank robber when they come in and say, get on the ground or I'll blow your head off. It's, it's the same deal. And it shows how far we've gone down the rattle. America never did stuff like this before. This kind of stuff never went on. Why is it okay now? It's not okay.
and all over the nation with TSA, with military as well, and with federalized police, they had warrantless checkpoints on country roads, big highways, transport hubs, you name it, with the TSA, a nationwide operation, and they're just going to incrementally ratchet it up until all of us live like they did in Boston. There's a Supreme Court case going on uh, dealing with the police now come and say, we're locking down your whole neighborhood, just leave indefinitely. There's an infographic up on Infowars.com. Infographic, NSA is a billion times more expansive than the Stasi that just got published. Hate crime, gays brutally beat Christians in America. But I guess, I guess you've got to, why not execute all the Christians just to prove you're not a homophobe? Uh, also, West Virginia using seatbelt checkpoint to conduct illegal search and seizure. Nevada police face rare Third Amendment lawsuit for forced commandeering of homes. Cops locked down neighborhood after shots fired in the air on July 4th. So you're all prisoners and we're coming in your house without warrants. FSA rebel suicide bomber vows to attack U.S. and Europe. Yeah, why are there checkpoints everywhere looking for terrorists? I mean, the terrorists work for our government are all on duty. Being given heat-seeking missiles. Al-Qaeda can be trusted with that, but I can't. I'm an evil, evil patriot. You know, God forbid I try to walk down the street with a gun. By the way, coming up at the bottom of the hour, uh, Adam Kokesh did did go to D.C. and did rack a shotgun on Pennsylvania Avenue and says he sent me a text saying, I've just committed four felonies. So he's had his Rosa Parks moment. We're going to get him on the next few days, uh, next week or Sunday. But we've got a clip of that coming up. Jakari Jackson popping in. Uh, Washington Post editorial board goose steps to the beat of Obama's drum. That's just some of what's on the site. We're going to get to all of it. But first, Watson, Paul Watson, our newsman. Uh, you've got a lot to cover from the government controlling your refrigerators with smart meters and mainstream news uh, to the drill, which, again, is martial law. But then nothing happens and people just get conditioned to live under it. It's martial law when they spy on us without warrants. It's martial law when our military is under NATO command. It's martial law uh, when they strip search your kids without warrants at school. We are just basting. And the same thing in Europe in this tyranny. Paul Watson, editor of PrisonPlanet.com. Yeah, this is a top secret. They called it Homeland Security Drill, which took place yesterday, mainly focused in L.A., but also across the U.S. Um, and KTTV did a report on it and basically said that undercover police, along with TSA and Homeland Security agents, would be conducting both visible and undercover operations in the interests of safety because they feared uh, a new attack in, in the aftermath of the Boston bombings because apparently those brothers said that they wanted to attack New York on July 4th. So basically they had a bunch of TSA, Homeland Security, Sheriff's Department police parading around subway stations, different transport hubs across America conducting random bag searches. Oh, no, no, now yeah. public parks everywhere are putting up signs and they search everybody. We're all being trained. We always knew it would move from the airports to the streets. That was the plan. Yeah, so they had a bunch of goons basically walking around, some of them undercover, shaking down Americans on the day they celebrate their independence from tyranny. But what stood out for me is the, the news channel's coverage of this because Right from the start, they admitted that they were working with the police to promote the drill. So instead of asking actual hard questions about what taxpayer money was being wasted on, they were actively promoting this pointless exercise. Oh, no, no, no. This is the merger of the media with the state. Uh, absolutely. This, this, this is the point we've gotten to uh, in this country. In fact, that clip is in the article that's still linked up on DrudgeReport.com. And you can read the quotes from this News Channel report. It said the, the exercise is, quote, top secret, and that's the way it should be. Only they need to know what the game plan is. And again, so the, uh, we're learning how to live in Fallujah, where everybody's secret yeah. police. The cops are secret police and get to fantasize that they're James Bond, and no one can know what police are doing under the feds, and the media's involved, and we all get to play secret agent. Meanwhile, the government runs al-Qaeda on record and ran the Boston bombing. Yeah, it's, and it's all about, as you said, this secret agent activity. You know, public has no right to know what's going on. But listen to this one. 
What we need to know, or rather to be reminded of, is that the threat, homegrown and imported, are all too real. And in one way, we're all undercover agents who need to be aware of our surroundings. Just like in East Germany, you know, one but in you seven don't, but you don't, But you don't trust the, the citizen, only trust the government. We've had our camera crews in downtown have men walk up in suits and go, because they're asking, you know, doing reporter interviews, you know, women in business suits doing interviews. And it's like, I'm calling the police on you. And then the cops show up. These people in, in InfraGuard actually think talking is illegal. They, they, I mean, these people are monsters. Well, that's the whole point. They've been brainwashed with this need to protect us from terrorists. When, in fact, if you go and read the actual academic studies out of Ohio State University and others, all of these things kill more Americans than terrorists every single year. Accident-causing deer, bee stings, drowning in bathtubs, intestinal illnesses, allergic reactions to peanuts. You know that Americans are two to three times more likely to be killed by lightning strikes than by terrorists. Need a five-day so waiting period on lightning strikes. Let me show people this. Um, I actually have articles here in my stack where there were deaths all over the country with father runs over son on float. Fire department uh, vehicle turns over, kills man. Well, the answer is obviously banned fire engines and banned parades. Because if you, know, if you have people dying in these every time they have them, we've got to ban them. Exactly. But well, they're protecting us from what Glenn Greenwald called the decade's biggest scam, which is a good article to go and read. Basically, over the last 12 years, Homeland Security has spent billions and billions on this contrived war on terror when Americans are more likely to be killed by a litany of mundane things. And it's a giant hoax. It's a giant takeover in plain view. And, and, and listen, I sit there with these feds and cops and they'll laugh at you. Not all of them. A lot of them are listening now. And I go, you understand the government runs Al-Qaeda? Let me, let me show you. Oh, no. Yeah, right. Government runs Al-Qaeda. They publicly run it. I mean, that's what's so insane about this. That's the point. I mean, domestically, the threat is not real. You know, even the, F the New York Times admits FBI hatched all the major domestic terror plots over the last 10 years. It's not real, but they're trying their damnedest to make it real by provocateuring all the terrorists domestically and arming all the terrorists abroad in Syria, in Libya, in Niger, in all these other countries. So they're trying their hardest to make it real. Meanwhile, more Americans get killed by bee stings, but the, the Department of Homeland Security has to spend billions and billions sure. protecting us from this threat. I was reading where Bloomberg yesterday was defending his warrantless checkpoints, but then playing race. And he goes, we stopped and searched 700,000 whites and 300,000 Hispanics and only half a million blacks in New York. And it's like they randomly stop you, search you. It's totally illegal. And then now that system is being segued and they stop you at these checkpoints and flip out when they can't search your car. I mean, they're illegally oppressing you in official oppression and they flip out when you act like you're still in America. And then they use stuff like Al Qaeda. The government runs it. The government's been taken over. I'm sorry. What do you make of the Morrissey thing and the military not wanting to actually put Al Qaeda in charge of uh, and and uh, of um, Egypt and the crucifying Christians at the presidential palace? And that, imagine that's not even in our news, Paul. They're murdering, burning down churches. It's not in our news. This is what our government does. Our government is raving demons. I'm sorry. Go ahead, well, Alex. I'm baffled as to why Obama and David Cameron haven't immediately ordered the transfer of heavy weaponry to the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt to overthrow the Egyptian army. You know, maybe the, the Muslim Brotherhood should start chopping people's heads off, eating people's hearts and attacking Christian churches, because that seems to be how you get the Obama administration to give you weapons. I guess the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt right now are not hardcore enough. They need to start beheading people in order to get the Obama administration support again. And they've already started attacking airports in Egypt today. So I guess they're on the right lines. That that kind of impresses Washington, and that's the way to get the job done. So I'm just waiting for the Obama administration to say, yeah, we're going to give you heavy weaponry and go and have some fun, go and try and overthrow the military of Egypt, just as they're doing in Syria while 
at the same time, these Syrian rebels say, after we've finished in Syria, we're going to Europe, we're going to America, we want to impose Sharia law, we're going to kill all Jews and Christians, and the Obama administration applauds and sends them weapons, sends them money. But then, so but then cops, cops want to search me like I'm Al-Qaeda. Exactly. Unbelievable. What are we going to cover next when we come back, Paul? We're going to cover the EPA paying companies to put smart fridges in production which spy on and cut off your energy use. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.